All right, guys. Finally, I'm going to record this video. So we open Design Space. We're going to make this mom plaque. What am I going to do first? Uh, shapes. So it is a rectangle. I was thinking. Okay, so unlock so that it doesn't keep the scale. Um, it's 12 wide, 5 high. And then we're going to change it to 10 just so that it's see-through because I like to see where every square is. Let me just move them on. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right. Next, we are going to write mom. Whoops. All right. Now, you can choose any font that you want, but just for this video, I'm just going to use the basic font. I don't care. And then you size this bad boy up. This looks like a good size. Let's center this. All right, next. This font is oh, what's happening? Okay. Is called Hello Honey. And what's my boy's name? Dylan. Let's do Dylan. So we're going to change it to Hello Honey. This font is available on, I think, Defont. I'm going to post the link so that you guys can see which uh, where you can download it. But since you guys are selling, um, you guys are going to have to like purchase the commercial license so that you can sell it. And, you know, pay your dues to the creator. So I use a MacBook, so it's a little different if you use like um, a Windows computer. I think you have to search up your character maps. But on a MacBook, you just go into your font book and then you type in the font. This part is so stupid. So you search up the font. We're using Hello Honey. And just for the D, let me go scroll down. Where's the squiggle with the D? A, B, C. Here she is. All right. So you're just going to copy and paste. So we're going to copy, pop back in here. And then we are going to change this. There. Next letter is the N. So we'll scroll to, there it is. Copy, replace the N. And then next kid's name's Hunter. So move this so it's smaller so you can see and then we just need to change the r with the swooshy at the end where are you copy paste and there it is okay so let's weld this first so that it's all attached and i'll cut properly so Next thing we do is offset. I like smaller offsets because I think they're nicer, but then there's like smaller room for error. That's pretty big. So let me go smaller. Okay, let's just make it smaller. I feel like this one's nice. 0.16. Let's apply. Here we have it. We're going to highlight both. We're going to group them. Bring it down, bring it to our design. Then just kind of figure out where you want the names to go. I feel like, yeah, this looks good. I'm going to ungroup it. What just happened? Take the inside out. Okay, so now you take the mom and the offset. They selected, I thought they selected, yeah. And you slice them. Let it think, let it think. Design space takes a while. Okay, there we go. See? Okay. Now, oh no, my square. Undo. Okay. Delete that, delete that, delete that. Okay, now this is back. Let's center this again. Why am I doing this? Because I like to see what the design is going to look like. So, we bring this thing back in. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, so now you have the mom, which you're going to cut in one color. This you're going to cut in another color. You don't need this rectangle. I just made it so I can see how everything looks up, like so it's proportional. 
this is perfect. So if you actually want to see the application process of how to do this, I have a reel on my Instagram page and you can go and see how to lay it down. It's pretty simple, but you know, if you just want to watch. <laughs>